All right, guys. Say it isn't so, but this is the aftermath of my accident. It doesn't look that bad, but it's pretty bad. And my hand's kind of broken. A wise man once told me, don't you know how to make money and work hard? You'll never be poor. Well, this is how I make my money. All right, guys. I'm sitting inside my old work truck. I've had this truck since it was almost new. And um, the mileage, we ended with... Oh, I can't see it. Hold on, I'll put the key back in. 230, almost 231,000. And I think it had, cycling through it, I think it had like 7,000 hours. And I think 1,300 idle hours or something like that. So I've had this truck a long time. So a little bit of backstory was, um, um, I was in the process of buying a new truck when I put a down payment on one, which I'll have a video on that, guys. But I'm going to show you more damage on the truck here. I'm going to make this like a, uh, a small little video, nothing fast, but, or nothing fancy. But, uh, yeah, guys, um, I went to the scrapyard Saturday morning, um, brought us a quick load in, and then me and my guy were going to start ripping air conditioners apart, and he was late getting to me because he had something else to do. So I went and stripped apart a bunch of stuff. I finished that last video. If you watch the last video at the end, you'll see pictures of the truck crashed. Um, I left my house and went up to pick a few things up. And then on the way back, stop, we'll stopping at Home Depot. Got some stuff for the house. And um, a bunch of cars had stopped short in front of me. And I tried to avoid it. There was nothing I could do. Um, and um, I ended up clipping the back corner of her car, spinning her out. Um, holiday weekend, tons of cars. Not a fun time. But uh, the truck was still drivable, but the... the Bumpers pushed against the frame so the wheels turn towards the driver's side so it won't straighten out. So I can only turn left. But um, had a few things in the back I had to get out. And I'm here now emptying it out and everything. So the insurance company tells me it's going to be totaled. And um, now I just got to wait for the new truck to come in. You know, it's a 2025, so it's not even built yet. So it's going to have that new truck smell to it. But, you know, sitting in here, the old girl... I kind of prefer the old girl, you know. This truck has made me so much money. and It's like losing a kid, you know. I've been in this truck for forever. And um, this was the first like Nike like new truck that I've ever bought. And, um, you know, it's kind of sad because it ran great. The transmission was great. You know, I just put I just put the leaf springs on the back. I put a $1,000 exhaust manifold, transmission service. And, um just a bunch of parts into it because I wanted to keep it. I put the pulleys on the belt and stuff but um I can't get my battery out brand new optimal battery like two years old not brand new but like two years old it's $400 battery I'm just gonna leave it in I don't feel like playing with it but it's hot and figured I'd be hot and sweaty in here one last time but uh yeah guys things happen I'm just happy to be healthy and alive and you know I've noticed for a long time shit happens but I mean, it is what it is, guys. I'm going to show you the truck now. I just noticed the windshield's cracked, too. All right, guys. The doors won't close or shut. As you see, the whole door is pushed back. Fender pushed back into it. I noticed the windshield's cracked here. I don't know what pinched it. Windshield's cracked. But this, when I hit the tree, I may replace this part. This part of the frame piece was so expensive. This, like, rad support piece was so expensive. And uh, you see the bumper's hitting the wheel. It didn't slice the tire up. I mean, I'm leaving good tires and everything on, but the bumper was pushed over. As you see, the light housing is 
demolished. And look, the engine's in there, still good. The AC is busted. It leaked all of its stuff out. This magnesium part of the rad support is even more expensive. This was like twelve hundred bucks when I had to replace it last time. But um, nice new serpentine belt, and then you can see the frame. This frame rail is pushed all completely over. I have it looked underneath here. Wow. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's it's like kinked behind by the steering box. Other than that, still pretty good though. Underneath. Now something blew apart up here. Something up here is all blown apart. Where is that? Look at that. Focus, you bastard. I don't know what the hell that is. That is blown apart. That's for like the steering or something. I don't know what that is. That thing is blown apart. The truck's not leaking any brake fluid or anything. It was leaking transmission fluid and radiator fluid. But yeah, that frame is so bent. Look at them. I think the meth monkeys will want them. Ooh. But yeah, guys, she's pretty well. I want. I want to know what that is. That thing is broke. Something with the steering linkage. I don't know. I'm tired of laying on the ground already. I'm fat. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, she's totaled. Ooh, not my ugly. But yeah, guys, it's the end of an era for this guy. Time to move on to something else. So I'm going to be using the yellow truck here for the time being. And there's nothing we could do. We got no lift gate. And it is what it is. Goodbye, old friend.